Yeah. So greetings, people. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, man. Okay. Chill. <laughs> okay. Chill. Wait. I'm gonna see the health. Do you watch uh the the WAN show by Linux Tech Tips? Yeah, yeah. I I oh, I, I, yeah, I can listen to this. it as a podcast on the device. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah. So you usually catch them in the middle of the of testing. Next like, time, are we on? Are we on? We're on. We're on. Yeah. We're on the the intro. <laughs> we're on. All right. So. Are we yeah. on, on? Yeah. Really on. We're live. Yeah. We're okay. Live. We're live. Yeah. But the All frame right. a bit sucks. So uh, I'm gonna try to do it on Windows <laughs> next time. Sure. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Just a point. The link there. again to the YouTube. Let's. I are we, will. Are we sharing? I don't think I, I can to... change anything on my laptop. No, okay. no, no. I think we just start doing it, then do a retrospective yeah. later. Yeah. Okay. All right. So All let's right. start. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are actually live right now. So All right. Say so... whatever you want. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Live long and prosper. Yeah. Live long and prosper. I'm Chi <laughs> So my name is Swimming, and we have Jimmy and Tristan. So we are. Calling ourselves Death Kami. Okay, we are not Code God, just so you know. We are not Code God. So we thought we want to use Kami Death or Death Kami. We confused. We decided, you know what? Forget it. Just do Death Kami. And it actually works because we are also software developers, one or another, and we are all doing live podcasts for you guys. Yeah, swimming yeah. is very good. <laughs> yeah. so, that Kami is taken, by the way, by some by me Japanese. No, team. oh, Dev, no, 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 Kami Dev, Kami, Kami Dev. Yeah, a bunch of gods. Yeah, so, so we are not on the level of gods. Yeah, yeah. We are, no, so, technically so, we are uh, gods because Dev Kami. Yeah. So <laughs> the the original story is uh, we are retconning the original story. Yes, to, to a better one. Yes, but so, the actual story is that uh, Kami Dev is already taken. Yeah, correct. Anyway, yeah, we, we chose it for SEO purposes. Yeah. Correct. All right. And I think the name is cool because we are deaf and we are deaf that tell our story to you guys. So, deaf Kami. Yeah. So, our deaf. Oh. So, all right. What, so, what's, uh, what's happening in Malaysia? All right. So, there's a few things happening in, for the next few weeks at least. Uh, in fact, uh, 26 August, next week, this week, uh, we will have PyCon Malaysia. PyCon. Yes, PyCon is a conference about Python, not the snake. So we actually have a gathering of Python developers in Western Malaya. You can actually find out in pycon.my. And later this year, we will actually have RubyConf Malaysia, which actually co-organized by Jimmy and Tristan. Uh, <laughs> and no, not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> but it's uh, organized by the good yeah. folks at... Uh, at uh, uh, Jimmy, your show. Oh, okay. yeah. So okay. this is the website. The website is called rubyconf.my. Yep. Uh, and the date is 25th to 26th October. We have uh, two days of single track. Uh, we have a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, famous people, Constantine, Aaron Patterson, like wow. Hiroshi, Shibata, and all these people. Uh, so yeah, it will be fun. Cool. <laughs> and uh, please buy tickets. <laughs> yes. Also, the PyCon is already happening in 26, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, but uh, how, how many attendees are you expecting? We hope to get 180 people and ticket is still open. Mm -hmm. uh, because we already booked the food, we do not want to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> if you join us, uh, because we try to get, uh, we really try to aim to have 180 people. We just mm -hmm. finished uh, selling our group ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, so we currently, we only have the individual ticket left. But try to come. Anyway, uh, if you're still new in Python, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, if anything, uh, come talk to us. We are all uh, with quite a few senior Python developers around, which mm -hmm. actually make it easy to communicate and ask questions. Otherwise, we try to have some interesting topic to cover you guys. Uh, let me share the screen of the... Yeah. Oh, no. I need to... At insert extension later. <laughs> oh, but where, where can they hear more <clears throat> about Python? Okay, PyCon Malaysia can be found in pycon.my, P Y C O N.my. Uh, then from there, you can see the schedule and also link to the PTIC site to get mm -hmm. to buy the ticket. Okay, so, yeah, that's all for me. Yeah. Yay. 
RubyConf and PyCon. PyCon yeah. happening this week. RubyConf is happening in September. Yes. End of October. End of October. Oh, end of October. October. Sorry. End, yeah. end of October. Sure. <clears throat> so I think that's all from us. But if you forget any event, tell us. In fact, let us to promote your event. We don't mind as long as not as long as a developer event. We would promote it on our channel. Yay! Yay! So what are we going to talk about next? We're supposed to talk about what uh, what kind of tools we're using. Okay. Like tools we use to make money, basically. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's basically a printer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's one. Yeah. All right. Who wants to start? Jimmy wants to start, right? Yeah, let's start with Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. Um, I'm using a Mac. Uh, and uh, my day-to-day -to -day tools will be the terminal, uh, VS Code, um, and AWS <laughs> console. Touch bar or no touch bar? <laughs> Uh, the touch bar version, unfortunately. Touch bar version. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can't. I mean, uh, yeah, it's either that or I get a I get an older model, so mm -hmm. I have to get touch bar have to deal with the touch bar. I use a external keyboard. Uh, I use my, I uh maybe, I can. Maybe I can show my desk. I don't know whether yeah. that's. A yeah. wise thing to do. <laughs> up to you. Yeah. Uh, you're just really showing off your desk. webcam. Uh yes. <laughs> so my Whoa. desk looks like this. Oh, I can't do so that. So I have an external keyboard. Uh, and then I have this thing to jack up my monitor. So I think that's also part of uh my tools. <laughs> and then mm -hmm. my oh, you razor mouse. Yeah. Your razor so person. That's 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 my setup. <laughs> The thing is, I, I didn't actually, like, uh, went too picky when I choose my first mechanical keyboard or mouse. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose Razer because they do delivery. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, and the, the keyboard is actually not too expensive. It's about 200 something, like, mm -hmm. end of 300 bucks, I think, close to 300 bucks, compared to all the other, like, mechanical uh, out there that is quite decent. It's about 300, 400 bucks. So, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. So yeah, I, I yeah that's that I, I guess tools include like uh, physical tools, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Anything that so, makes yeah. you productive. Oh, oh, my chair. Also, my chair. <laughs> my chair is a good chair. Your dog. Uh, invest in a good chair. <laughs> yeah. So that you don't get back pain. Um. But yeah, that's that's maybe my my tools. Yeah. Cool. Nice. That's interesting. So yeah. Tristan, you. Yeah. A lot just now. I also use an external keyboard. I don't have it right now. Uh, yeah. It's outside. I don't want, want to wake the kitten. But unlike Jimmy, instead of a mechanical keyboard, I actually prefer the Mac uh, Magic keyboard. Okay. It will... I had the... uh, Sorry. No, I, I don't know. For some reason, I, I like it. I, I type faster with the small keys. But I don't like the Mac keyboard, the one built into the laptop. I like their Bluetooth Magic Keyboard. You mean the recent? Uh, yeah, the like recent the one. Keyboards or... No, no, the, they don't use butterfly switches on the external keyboards. On the Magic Keyboard, they use something else, but it's also uh, low travel. So that mm -hmm. one I like. I don't like the butterfly keyboard at all. I don't I yeah, understand I, I how think that's, that's like it. the general consensus of the yeah. new butterfly keyboard is that it's loud yeah. and it's not really mm -hmm. good for Typing, I don't yeah. know. And this is disgusting. The magic, ex the external magic keyboard, the the whole, uh, what do you call this? The one hundred one key. Mm -hmm. That one is good. I, I prefer it. Yeah. But other than that, that, so I use that at home because the laptop at home is not as good a, a keyboard. So that's why I use an external keyboard. But the one I primarily use is this thing. It's a T four eighty. It's by Lenovo. Uh, I don't have a graphics card there. It's just the normal Intel. So that there's. There's very good Linux compatibility. I chose it because of the really insane battery life. Like I have, uh, I have swappable batteries. Basically, you can. I have like three batteries now, and for the whole day, I just like I don't have to plug in. I just change the batteries without the unit actually turning off because it has like uh, an internal battery, 24 watt hours, and then you can just change it, change the back of the 
mm. the battery to 72 watt, uh, watt hours or something like that. So it's, it's really good. I just carry them and I can be without a power plug for like two days maximum just by doing that. And aside from that, I don't really use a mouse. I prefer the, the trackpad because I don't like moving my hand from the keyboard back to the mouse and those things. So I, I prefer keeping it there. Um, I use VS Code as well. And I tried learning Vim. It's, it doesn't really stick. I mean, I can use it. I just, mm -hmm. I'm just not fast Same. as I am with, uh, with VS Code. I, I remember the, the <coughs> shortcuts on VS Code more than Vim. Mm -hmm. But, but I, you... I think uh, if you use uh, new client or, or if you develop in React a lot, uh, I think uh, uh, new client with Atom or VS Code is like yeah. the most popular two choices mm -hmm. for like React developers. Yeah, so yeah, I have I... to do React. So yeah, I so... love the the plugin uh, the plugin things the yeah. the, the, the extensions that VS Code has for for JavaScript, for Ruby, for Go, for all of these things. It, it makes, it's not that necessarily an IDE, but it makes it perform like an IDE, almost like an IDE. And so it's 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 good. Yeah, and that's a good mode. <laughs> a framework for IDE. So they yeah, well, yeah, it's it's not just, like, because I used to do Java. Yeah. Uh, I did Eclipse. It's like, it's the whole the whole thing, right? Yes. That's, that's an IDE, you run everything yeah. there, but, um, I, when I started using Ruby, then I started with Sublime, and then now I'm with VS Code, and that's that's generally how I am. I, I used, used to use Atom, but it's slow, no. like until yeah. a point where it, I have to use something else, and VS Code came out. So yeah, yeah. And I use uh, I use Ubuntu exclusively. I haven't been using Windows for a few years now, yeah. except to play games because, and it's <laughs> it's usually installed in my other laptop. That's a 1070 laptop, so that's when I use Windows. Uh, okay. But here, like almost exclusively, I always use Ubuntu. I'm as I'm a convert to Ubuntu Budgie, because okay. Ubuntu GNOME is very slow on my laptop. Okay. But Ubuntu Budgie is just great. Yeah. So that, those are my tools. Who is Coder Climber? <laughs> Coder Climber. Hi, Coder Climber. Hello. We okay. I'll see you on the chat. Thing. How about your ah. tools? Your tools of choice. Which chat are you looking at, Jimmy? The YouTube chat. Oh, oh, interesting. Is I there any other it. chat? No. I don't we know. I thought, like, YouTube, right? I thought someone okay. went into the to the appear dot in. No, uh, no, it, it won't be that creepy, off, right? Yeah. yeah, I hit the link actually. I think okay. everybody can get in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not so, hard to So, Chilean, do you want to continue or? You yeah. Want... Uh, uh, <clears throat> let, let, let me do mine. Uh, it's a very, very brief one. I'm uh, mainly uh, nowadays I use uh, VS Code a lot more. Yeah, yeah. VS Code. So I used to be a lot more of an Emacs user uh, uh, inside the terminal, not the Emacs app. Nice. And yeah, compare like it's okay if you do just backends like GoLang, Python to configure. But mm -hmm. if you try to do front end and stuff, uh, the, mm -hmm. the amount of plugins to reconfigure is crazy. So yeah, yeah VS Code is actually just click install and yeah, it just works. So yeah, I I, I prefer it nowadays. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's about it. I think. What's what's your machine? <laughs> Uh, uh, my work machine is actually a Mac 2015, not the, 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 the best kind. Mm -hmm. So touch bar or no touch bar? No touch bar, 2015. No touch bar. Uh, yeah, with the backlight, backlight with the mm -hmm. Apple logo. Mm -hmm. so, so, ah, yeah. oh, the uh, old ones. Okay, yeah. yeah, the older one. But yeah, the rest is, uh, I don't think it matters. Uh, I use Docker a lot. Uh, everything is in Docker. And oh, for yeah. the recording mm -hmm. and stuff, it's uh, OBS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So also, oh, and you you run engineers at my right? Yeah, yeah. Also, oh, engineers at my you should uh, you should promote engineers at my because okay, she the got um, the got Makan session. To promote the Ruby. Yeah, no, just uh, Makan session <laughs> first. Uh, uh, engineers my is uh, started as uh, just a um, uh, bunch of uh, uh, knowledge sharing or a meetup place like for 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 people that uh, technical people, especially for people mm -hmm. that just started. Because uh, a lot of people like students or or people that attended boot camps or they wish uh, people that are interested they want to discover each others but there is no like you know like when you go to a meetup you only meet that kind of person so mm -hmm. it's like a general it's 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 not a group that a lot of people they when when they think that uh, engineers mind is actually a group to dominate more it's actually not uh, I run 
uh, meetup, uh, Jimmy Run meetup as well, so Swimming Run meetup as well. So it's not a group to dominate the It's a group like in the middle ground there where you want to ask questions about this and that we can direct you to. But yeah, mm. the end goal is are uh, you, not. Yeah. Are you planning to run a calendar soon? Because I think um, yeah. Lies, if you if Jimmy remembers Lies, she used to mm. run the the calendar. Yeah, yeah. The it used to be technical there, yeah. calendar thing. Is this still updated? No, because she's not here anymore. Yeah. Oh, okay. So nobody's but running it. Is not, my, I do have a yeah. calendar at one time, but nobody actually updated it. No, no, it's, mm. it's down right now, so I'm rewriting oh. it at the meantime. Uh, so I'm, okay. uh, I'm actually picking up Python again, uh, and I'm doing it in Django. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, even though I'm a long-time Python programmer, I'm, I'm not a Django person, so yeah, I need some time okay. to pick it up. Yeah. Mm. All right, yeah. cool. So mm. back to me, yeah. so again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so my name is Swimming again. So here's my tools of choice. I don't actually okay. So my tools of choice is mostly on the software side. Uh, I work mostly on Linux nowadays. It doesn't really matter anymore. But my tools of choice is Linux. I use whatever IDE I can find, which is weird because I actually had a PyCharm subscription yearly. I actually use my own money for that. So that's the. <laughs> That's actually the, uh, that's actually the IntelliJ uh, IDE for yeah, Python, right. mm -hmm. but I use I use whatever I can find. If I have to use, uh, Vim, I use Vim. So that's that's my tools of choice. Recently, I discovered Docker, which is good because it makes deployment easy. It makes testing easy. It goes to the point. I don't really care too much about which hardware to use, as long as I can type on it. Because things like Docker actually make testing easy. It might be a little more painful to do it on Windows, but uh, the testing on of uh, code uh, is actually make life easier. So you've got a computer, then just pick up, make sure it's run Docker. It chances is it work. So that's my usually tool of choice. I most I almost exclusively work for Py work using Python for for quite a number of years since I'm in the industry. So Django, mm -hmm. I use Django since 0.96, uh, but I don't exclusively work with Django. Uh, depends on place where I work, I actually use from pure Python to Django for web. Uh, so if there's some data science thing, which believe I actually do some, uh, I will use like pandas, mostly standard Python tools. But Docker is the new one that I discovered uh, in my new world. And that's a good thing because it makes things portable. Yeah. It's a, it makes what, a very really good uh, OS extraction. So yes. regardless of where you work at, uh, as right. long as you don't mount and then those issues with uh, volumes, then if you can develop the, on Windows and on on mm -hmm. Mac, just fine mm -hmm. for Linux stuff. And you, you don't have to like specifically compile these certain libraries but, to yeah. work on the, that particular Wait until but you I, do this, for, uh, use the containers for deployments and mm -hmm. then you have to learn kubernetes and you have to learn well, it depends because, <laughs> believe yes. it or not, yeah. yes but it's a good start for good, yeah. good practices so yeah, then it's still okay i find it's still okay to deploy yet but then here's the catch mm -hmm. i deploy from linux so i'm using the command line mm -hmm. So, but that's just me. Uh, finally, if I happens to have to de uh, develop on Windows, which I actually did for some time, uh, then I would use uh, use uh, Visual Studio Code because it just work easily on that platform. On Windows development is a little more complicated, believe it or not. So as a result, uh, for Python, I have to use Anaconda. Uh, it makes life easy on Windows. Then uh, I have to use an IDE to make life easy. So the IDE would either be a PyCharm or Visual Studio Code. I'm more gravitated toward Visual Studio Code nowadays because Visual Studio Code is literally a framework for IDE. So it's a code, it's a it's like imagine I've got Notepad Plus Plus, but Notepad Plus Plus doesn't do that much. So all you need to mm -hmm. add Notepad in, now you get a Python IDE. Then you add another one, you get JavaScript or Vue or all that. Oh yeah, so back to it. Front end, I, I discovered view. I think I might stick with it. I could be wrong, but I think <laughs> it's possible I might stick with view. Yeah, yes. but, but I'm not sure because I got a lot of people that disagree with me. 
view. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, uh, so I found that uh, I find that VS Code is like an interesting uh, phenomenon because before it was Sublime Text or TextMate, right? Like, yeah. or or like all of these big IDEs, and then VS Code came along. It's like a juggernaut. Almost everyone is, yeah. or or Atom, and almost everyone is now switching to VS Code, and it's interesting how. Uh, like what? What exactly got that running? Was it because Microsoft was making it, or was it because it's just so much easier? And Atom is also open source. Yeah. Why is it not? Um, For not me, the same? it's just like the speed of the the project you load. Like mm -hmm. uh, in Atom, uh, once you start add it, uh, once you start having like more than a couple of plugins that do linting and you know do uh, maybe if you are doing some other languages code referencing it's going to be super slow mm -hmm. and vs yeah. code is like so fast like instantaneously you can get like traversing the file tree uh like doing the file search in atom and in vs code is like atom once you press the command it takes like two seconds for the yeah. thing to come out in vs mm -hmm. code it's always instantaneous for me at least no matter how big my project folder is so yeah yeah, but so that's actually, so you know, actually the, before the... I went to VS Code, I actually tried yeah. Vim, just because of the speed of things mm -hmm. that it, it, it mm -hmm. runs like the, the file tree and everything. Yeah. Uh, but then, but then VS Code came out, so <laughs> it's like my answer, my prayers are answered. My, I was, I was having like doubts before switching to VS Code because, like, it's, it was also the file search thing, like because. If you think VS Code's file search is inst instantaneous, Sublime Text is even faster than instantaneous because it's really, uh, that it's really really fast, and that's what I really really miss from Sublime Text. But the reason mm. why I switched to VS yeah. Code is really about the extension, the availability of extensions. It's mm, just true. so so much easier to um, to get the extensions for it. Like people are developing more for VS Code than Sublime Text. Plus it's also so easy to transfer settings. Like there's this extension called setting sync. I just put it up on uh, my gist. And then whenever I transfer machines or like I have to reinstall the operating system, I just get the settings from the gist. Everything gets mm -hmm. re, uh, recreated in my VS Code. Like everything, yeah. all of my, my extensions, as, et cetera. The, the yeah. theme, etc. So it's it's really really good. It's interesting as well. Yeah. yeah. So well, the driver said that the open source sublime yeah. text development was stopped. That's the reason sublime text yeah. is yeah. shitty. <laughs> I don't know. So actually, Microsoft is not stranger to IDE development. There's a mm -hmm. reason why Visual Studio survived for so long. It's actually partly because it's actually pretty good. It's mm -hmm. not cross platform, but it's actually pretty good. So they make it, uh, everybody was shocked when they released uh, Visual Studio Code to be cross-platform. So, but Microsoft is not a stranger to IDE development. They get the idea that you need speed and all that. Mm -hmm. I know Visual Studio is not the fastest thing on the planet, but it's productive. And that's the thing. Uh, Visual Studio Code is actually a good mix between an IDE and a, and a, and a text editor, right? So. Think about it. Uh, the reason why you want IDE is not for the speed. It's the fact that you can, with a shortcut key, you can start up, let's say, a Docker. But then IDE can do that. With a free shortcut key, you will deploy to a server, do a, integrate with your debugger. So actually, that's the whole point of having an IDE, really. And I don't. Uh, most of us won't be using debugger, but Visual Studio Code have a good integration for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it uh, something that you actually have to integrate very well if you have to install the right plugin if you use Beam or find the right thing. So I think, yeah, Visual Studio Code is interesting. Yeah. Vim, I tried to like really wrestle with Vim plugins. I know there's a lot of Vim plugins and you can write Vim plugins Correct. anyways. But like the compatibility with like... Uh, once, uh, like I have like a... Scheme, a color scheme plugin, and then once you install that, and another plugin would uh, maybe clash with it, and it like the color will be all wrong, and it's it's just like no. <laughs> yes, you have to take the time to actually configure yeah, it, yeah, and to actually learn the the intricacy behind it. 
Yeah, so, I think the yeah. thing is about VS Code is uh, it just works for a lot of things. So you, yes, mm-hmm. and, and those, there's not much of a uh, key bindings that I have to learn as well. Correct. Like, uh, a lot of the stuff like the, <clears throat> the colors, so, the tests, and stuff, everything just uh, do it nicely for you. So just to show you how crazy it is, eh? So uh, I uh, before I formed the the new computer uh, on the Windows box, I would have an IDE to. Uh, to automate Vue.js code, uh, auto completion and all that, with Node.js and all that. At the same time, have Python IDE installed for Python related thing that it, that understand Django immediately. And finally, there's this uh, hardware development platform called Platform IO for you to hack your Arduino and all that. And that one actually had integration to Visual Studio Code, and it's essentially three different languages. That do three different things, uh, yet they offer IDE like feature only with one editor. Traditionally, mm-hmm. to do this on an IDE, you need to buy different IDE just to do that. Eclipse is close, but Eclipse is weird. That, that's yeah, about Eclipse it. is really slow for some reason. I don't know if uh, because of the Java runtime. It's actually or fast it... if you give it unlimited RAM. Well, yeah, <laughs> I guess so. well, that's Java for you, right? It just eats up all of your RAM. Correct. Yeah. Correct. It's like uh, it's like what was that joke that uh, this rule that says the the project time expands to the amount of time allocated to it, or something like that. Correct. So if you're getting, what? Uh, oh, like that's if you, the. I forgot what the thing is. Um. Uh, you. Yeah, no. but but that one. So if you say so, the estimate apparently expands to the um, the project time allotted to it. So it's I guess it's the same with Java that the Java memory requirements expand to the amount of memory you give it. So it's just yes. built without. Yeah. Which is oh, why sorry. Yeah. Speak. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Speak, which is why. We have five oh, minutes left. So, so yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So reminder. Five minutes left. So no more joke. I think anything else you want to cover, I'm done actually. Yeah. Chris, so what's, what, what were you supposed to do at, at the five, last five minutes? You, because you mentioned it previously. Last what, sorry? Last, uh, oh, we have a minutes. comment ah. section. So, like, yeah. I mean, like we, can, we can address to some of the comments from the viewers. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, viewers? So, really? Okay. That's so, why I asked you guys to publish <laughs> it. It's supposed to be an interaction, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> but... We were having so Coda, week, uh, the stream actually had uh, some issue just now, but I'll be re- okay. up, re-uploading it afterwards. So yep. I just rebooted it. <laughs> Correct. But so, yeah. Coda Climber asked uh, something. Maybe we can just quickly go through it. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, he was asking, like, uh, why isn't there a webcam anymore where you, uh, you know, uh, everyone uh, seems to be... Uh, there seems to be a one event that... Uh, like you can just learn learn uh, uh, a lot of different tech stuff from mm-hmm. uh, so yeah the short answer mm, is, I don't know the short I answer feel... is one is not running it anymore <laughs> yeah well that, that's uh, that's the one reason I think but there's I uh, some because... there's there's been some talk about like having a generic uh, tech uh, meetup but uh, it's mm. still currently in plan so yeah so it's I know of, there's uh, just... one called DevX. Uh, yeah. which they don't really uh, focus on any like language or anything. Yeah. They have uh, a bunch of uh, different uh, meetups about like blockchain or hardware or database admin. Yeah. Uh, are they still running it? Yes. They are still running it. Yeah, they're still running it. Mm, so I, I think I, that's the only one I know that it's a little bit more diverse, but I think yeah. a lot of us has kind of specialized uh, yeah. in our own... Like the thing is, during webcam time, there's not a a, a big mm-hmm. group in these specializations, so mm-hmm. everyone just come together. But I think as time grows, uh, we just have more and more people want uh, that that uh, is a little bit more specialized or or, yeah. or interested in one spec uh, specific uh, area. Mm-hmm. So so we just uh, started groups like that. So yeah, but yeah, because I remember during that time, like 2011, right? Webcam was still starting at the Mind Valley office until it like went around. Uh, and became bigger is that there were not really any user groups. Like we had to start a Ruby user group in Malaysia because there was not. We, we were surprised. There's no Ruby uh, Ruby group user here. Group, yeah. uh, then there like none none of these women who code before Rails girls, mm. all of these things. And I I think the t- 
technology in Malaysia has started to become mature enough to actually, as Jimmy was saying, to specialize that webcam kind of did its purpose already, which was to jumpstart uh, people coming together, organizing and getting uh, ex sharing information with each other. And then until, OK, it's big enough to to be able to contain all of these interesting topics that all of these like just went to its own specialization. And you still have like, for example, women who code, like I was mentioning during the pre broadcast that they just have, they just had uh, an event this Thursday talking about the specialist versus management track. When you've been in the industry for so long, what do you do? Do you go to the management track or do you go to the specialist track? And that was an interesting uh, discussion as well. They got Jessalyn from, uh, uh, I forgot where. <laughs> She doesn't really say where, where she's from, but she's a very good JavaScript developer, front-end engineer, uh, Google developer. Uh, and so I guess, I guess full stack, I, I, I'm not sure what she, what she calls herself. But, and there's, there's another uh, management, I forgot the, the, the guest that they had, but it was an interesting discussion. So these things, uh, these topics would, would, which would have been a topic in Webcam KL would have been, will, are now being taken by other groups that are uh, promoting the same vision as webcam from before. So maybe that's why webcam has not been doing anything. Yeah. And also Wuhan is not doing it anymore. Yeah. Basically. I blame developer with kids or their kids going <laughs> true, So basically true. Life, life happened. Yeah, life happened. happened. I mean, it's this part of the cycle of things. I mean, uh, it's, uh, I, I think even like with me running the Ruby meetup for almost four and a half years mm -hmm. now, I won't be seeing myself running this until like I'm old and you know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, it's good that new people take over yeah. or new it's things. Better that way, it's so just... it be more organic. Mm, so, yeah, and... it has to be more organic. Yeah. I and I just, the I just more. shared the link of the chat room. So shameless plug. So, uh, quick gambler, just uh, get in room. and yeah. Yeah, we have a chat room. Uh, just uh, come and ask any questions or just uh, plan meetups and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yep. also so, as an introduction, uh, I run the Golang meetup. So yes. it's happening every last Tuesday of the month. Mm. So last Tuesday. So there's one happening 20, 28. No, where, where's my calendar? So, last Tuesday last of Tuesday. the month is oh. 28. Yeah, yeah, it'll be that, yeah. I'll announce that uh, and there's a, uh, uh, Telegram channel and also uh, uh, the Facebook group. Just uh, look for Golang Malaysia. Yeah. So you want mm -hmm. to promote that, Jimmy? Your Ruby. And stuff? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> the Ruby meetup happens every first Tuesday of the month. What? Uh, <laughs> so you can uh, go to uh, uh, rubybrigade.my. That's r u b r u b y brigade b r i g a d dot my, uh, which will bring you to the uh, Facebook. Uh, Facebook, Facebook group, yeah. or you can find us at uh, meetup.com. Uh, if you search for Ruby Mai, you can find yeah. all our events there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're there so, on yeah, meetup.com. I'll post the link well. on the channel. So, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll, uh, afterwards, I'll, comp I'll put it in the in the video description. So. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. that would be great. So uh, just uh, we we just had a brief uh, planning just uh, about how this uh, podcast work. Uh, we'll be doing a weekly uploads. The upload will be um, regularly at Wednesday, but the live uh, date will be different. So, but expect every Wednesday you get a new video. Cool. Yeah, because uh, sometimes we are not around and stuff. So, uh, live is uh, SV recorded live. So, mm -hmm. great. So the chat doesn't let me post link. So, yeah, I think Jiliang, you have to, you have to <laughs> post edit the okay. link. You are, you are so admin. Now, yeah. uh, my laptop is dying. So. Okay. Any final word? No, so that means uh, since we you, have that and we're <laughs> uploading this, uploading this on, on Wednesday, I guess, right? Yeah. So yeah. if yeah. we get any questions from between now until the next time we get this this uh, podcast up, we'll try to answer them towards the end yeah. of the podcast. Yeah. You know, any kinds of questions like mm. what the uh, coder climber was uh, asking. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Do also yeah. uh, give us any suggestions of any topics yeah. you want us to talk about on the next podcast. Uh, uh, episodes to come. Mm -hmm. right. If you want to guest as well, come. I don't think we can have more than four though on appear.in. So we'll have to figure out if you have suggestions on what to do 
to mm -hmm. do this conferencing that has this this kind of uh, layout, like four people all at the same time. Then yeah. yeah, we're open to suggestions too. Yep. Uh, code, uh, last shout out, Coda, Coda Climbers uh, said that the iOS meetup is on the third Monday of the month. Uh, mm -hmm. so iOS meetup. Yeah, oh, so yeah. Teal Yong, I think you need your calendar up and running soon. <laughs> I don't know if yes. I can remember all of these things. I want to attend all of them. Yeah. Py Python, Python meetup, swimming? I stopped doing it. <laughs> oh. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, people would actually uh, jump out at one one. Yeah. And they said, what's happening in Penang? Mm. Oh, yeah. So, so we have also Penang. happening in Penang. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. If you are in Penang, just uh, also hook up with. Uh, 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 Gui, yeah, so, Gui. Nah, some links right. in the description oh, below. Oh, is he in Penang now? He's been yeah, he's he's, in Penang he's, now. He moved to Penang. Yeah. I see. He moved back to Penang. He's from there. Yeah, yeah he moved back to Penang. Yeah. So I think uh, with that said, talk to us on the channel. Uh, there's a few. Uh, where we will find us. Leave comment and all that. Yeah. If you have a question, leave it there. We will answer it. Um, the live streaming is actually at uh, Engineers My YouTube today because uh, we just set up the YouTube channel. So it actually requires us to wait for 24 hours before you can stream it live to the new channel. So for the new videos and stuff, it will be at the Dev Kami, Dev Kami channel. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Oh, yay. Just yeah. leave it in the comment. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes, Thanks we'll see you it. next week. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay, it's okay. been Bye. great. I yeah. think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.